Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am super excited to be playing along with uh, the Mercy Tierra 27 Day Challenges that are going on right now, and I chose the Grab 5 This or That Challenge. And so the five items that I am working with are uh, polka dots, wood veneer, a 6x6 six six paper pad, enamel shapes, and stamping. And so I have grabbed two different 12x12 12 12 background papers. Um, they are from the blue polka dot one at the back is from Crate Paper La La Love and it's called Bouquet. And then the one that's towards the front that's kind of the geometric is from Everyday Musings and it's called Full of Joy. And then I went ahead and grabbed a couple of paper pads from my stash. So one of them is Beach Day and then one of them is a Project Life one. And they're both things that I've used before so I'm just grabbing some scraps and some leftover pieces that I have for those and creating a bunch of layers behind my photo. That dark green paper that's gonna be kind of one of the major uh, mats in this particular photo, like in the layering, is from Jen Hatfield, and it's called Along the Way, from the Along the Way collection called Parkway. And so what I am doing is just gathering up a bunch of different layers that are gonna go behind my photo. And this photo has a lot of white space, so it's going to give me a lot of options to overlap my embellishments onto the photo itself. So what I want to do is create just a ton of different layers at this point to put behind my photo. So I'm just kind of moving things around, putting little pieces of paper that are leftovers here and there, so that I end up with one big kind of photo mat where all of those layers are going to fit in together. And that's going to go in this bottom right hand corner of the layout. And then I'm going to start to work on building some embellishing. So in this particular photo, there's like the, the black part on the bottom is this corner of an empty basket. And then it has a picture of all of these kind of random little items. And they were part of my son's advent calendar. So he had asked for just an advent calendar of sort of his favorite things one year. And so there's some like Harry Potter figures and some baseball stuff, some chewing gum, candy, just random little bits and pieces. But they say a lot about his personality and the things that he's into. And I really love photos like that where I can kind of capture these little pieces. And so that's what I'm talking about in this particular layout. I am using the ephemera pack from that Everyday Musings collection from Paint Fresh. So up in that top embellishment cluster, I have phrases that say things like, the world needs what you are, happy little thoughts, and then there's some music notes down in the bottom. I did find this additional phrase that says, small things, great love, and I thought that was perfect to kind of go along with this particular layout. And then I also found this yellow one that says, there's no one like you. I am going to use that die cut at the bottom. It's like a gold foil that says, one of a kind. And I'm layering that over the top edge of that kind of basket part in the photo. Because that basket doesn't really play a huge role to where it's going to need to be part of the focal image. So I feel okay with covering part of that up. And I am going to put some dimensional adhesive with that die cut. So it's going to stand up a little bit off the page. I am also adding some dimensional adhesive here to a bunch of my die cuts that I'm using. To kind of give some additional just height and dimension and interest. So I'm going to have basically these two embellishment clusters, one in the bottom left and one in the top right. That one in the top right is going to have a lot more stuff in it because my title is going to run along the bottom of my photo. And so in order to kind of balance those two things out, my photo mat here is going to be more embellishment heavy at the top. And that's going to help me to balance out a really bold title down at the bottom. So I'm always thinking about how I can kind of keep everything balanced and even throughout my layout. I know that I want to add some of these enamel dots, but I want to make sure I have my layout kind of where it's going to go first. And then I go ahead and add in three little wood veneer um, arrows. So I'm going to put one up by that sticker that says small things great love. And then I'm going to add a couple down by the beginning of my title. So my title is going to end up saying one of a kind pieces of you. But for right now, I just have that one of a kind sticker. And I know that I want to add a little bit of stamping for some additional phrases. And so I'm going to nestle two of them in up there at the top. So I'm making sure that I have my placement figured out of where it's going to go. And then I'm going to take some gray ink 
and put those phrases onto directly like onto the background page. And so I used, I'm going to use these big um, kind of puffy letter stickers down along the bottom. So I just made sure I left enough room under my photo mats before the bottom of the page where I could fit those in. And that gave me the correct placement for where I wanted my stamping to go. And so my stamping just says everyday things and then just the way you are, which I thought went really well with this particular photo. And then I'm going to go ahead and work on adding my title at the bottom. So the rest of the title is going to say pieces of you. And I'm using those kind of dark blue letters for pieces and you. And then I'm going to pull out some additional letters that are a little bit smaller font to use for the word of. And those are also from Paint Fresh. And that's going to kind of finish up that title look down there on the bottom. I do still need to get some enamel dots because that was my fifth item. So I am going to get some of those into this layout as well. So I go ahead and pull those out and I'm just going to add three to each of my embellishment clusters. And so I'm going to kind of overlap them onto those little labels. And that's basically going to do it for this layout. So I am really, really, really excited about how this one came out. I love all the layers and the little pieces of embellishments as well as kind of all the pieces in the photo. And I really think that's an important part of my son's story. So I hope that you will play along with Mercy Tears challenges this month. And I will see you soon. Bye!